parents are worried that I'm becoming an atheist because of YouTube. Which I suppose is a reasonable assumption. After all, I believed in God before I went on it. Why did I change my mind on a site where many idiots reside? Because some of those idiots agree with my notions of reason, morality, and intelligence. One such user calls himself the Amazing Atheist. Granted, he is not that much of an idiot as I just implied, but everybody is fairly stupid due to the little thing we call emotion. That's neither here nor there. The first video of his that I watched showed movies that he deemed were so bad they were good as the subject matter. I found it entertaining enough to watch some more of his videos. Time and time again, his opinions correspond with my own. Eventually, I came around to accept the fact that his opinion on religion was going to dissent from my own for a while. My second step towards atheism occurred about a year ago. By this time, I had already been introduced to the concept of evolution. When I first learned about it, my past religious teachings told me that it was complete horseshit, and I believed them. Since then, however, I had had an inner conflict going on between my desire to exist forever and my desire to comply with my personality and reason. In one hand, I had what I then perceived to be happiness. In the other, I had knowledge and truth. And on a deeper level that I could utilize, I knew it too. Because I'm human and therefore driven by emotion, I chose the former. The third major milestone on my journey towards atheism happened again on YouTube. Even though I had been watching numerous videos on the, on the site up until that point, I never bothered to create an account. Therefore, in order to establish a more effective presence here on YouTube, I set one up. The early days of my account were filled with harmony and peace and yada yada yada. I commented, I commented on a few videos, edited my subscriptions, and did most of the things that a YouTuber would do, except make any videos. Since a few years had passed since I watched any of the Amazing Atheist videos, I had completely forgotten his username. When I looked for the video on the internet, I couldn't find it. Fortunately, I found another one of his videos and thought to myself, Hey, this guy looks familiar. I think he's who I've been looking for. Awesome. I instantly subscribed to his channel and went on to watching all the videos on his channel. I, during this time, once again exposed to atheism. This time, however, I was presented with the flaws in my so-called holy text. This intrigued me, so I looked those flaws up. Sure enough, they existed, and I have doubted the legitimacy of the Bible ever since. I soon came under fire from my parents for even mentioning these flaws. Most of all, my father. I don't understand why my dad would offend God. God didn't make my dad's most important, valued, and virtuous prayer come true. My mom's response to my choice was much more menacing. She told me two things. One, I was never to watch The Amazing Atheist again, and two, I was to close my account immediately. To attempt to motivate me to follow her directions, she threatened me to throw me out of the house. Since I am 18 I have, and have no means of supporting myself, I obeyed her for a while. After that while was over, I started making videos out of a vain attempt to get a few subscribers. A couple likes, some views, and hopefully my own personal troll. I loved him a troll. I'd name him Fred, give him a nice bridge to sleep under, and occasionally feed him. Because after all, everything on this planet needs sustenance to survive. Me and my troll would argue back and forth about who's right and who's wrong. He'd make every stupid attempt to drive me mad and fail miserably every time. And I'd throw some stupid his way just to even the odds. Anyway, back to the topic. I was busy disobeying my mom, not for the sake of disobeying, for the sake of learning changing and growing. In the presence of my dad when it happened, I had the nerve to try to persuade this broken man to assume control of his life and see the truth. There is no God, and if he does exist, he's an asshole. Of course this was the wrong thing to do. When I showed him an atheistic video, he removed the internet card and smacked me. Then when my mom came home from work, he tattled on me. What a stubborn and violent child, at least in my opinion. He sleeps all day and eats shits and plays video games at odd hours of the night, and he has the gall to tell me to grow up? He should follow his own example and before he accept, expects anyone else to. Now that I think about it, both my parents are hypocrites. My mom tells us that violence is never the answer to anything, but she turns around and uses force when she doesn't get her way. My dad tells us to listen to our mother, but he himself consistently disobeys and disappoints her. Of course, I'm a bit of a hypocrite as well. 
I tell a lot of people to show mercy if they want it, but I'm not merciful myself. Still, I should probably obey my parents a bit more often. After all, they say, but don't demonstrate, that they care about and look after me. However, until they change their ways, I won't change mine. I have a few suggestions for them that I think you should follow as well. 1. Don't be a hypocrite. 2. Don't try to end or win arguments by saying drop it or I'm the parent governor, president king, or whatever. 3. Because I said so is not an acceptable reason for anything. 4. Even though threats are effective motivators, they do encourage rebellion and disobedience. Being in a position of authority doesn't mean you're correct about anything. It is merely a badge that you can wave around to get out of traffic tickets. That's it. I hope you liked it. Rate, comment, subscribe. You know the drill.